it's so interesting because in terms of when you talk of finding one's voice, you found your voice in music so well, you know, uh, truly, because your voice is distinctive, your uh, music is distinctive. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of Tamil, sometimes a little bit of English, and it just flows seamlessly. Um, yet you struggled a bit in cinema. Why was that? I don't, I think I still struggle in cinema because nobody knows how to cast me, Kavi, which has been a big problem. Yeah. I went to, I have a Hollywood agent, I have a UK agent. When I did Treadstone as well, they were just like, where is she from? Like, we're really confused. I think it's, it's the demeanor as well as my facial features, right. as well as that I don't look North Indian or South Indian. Like, I love that. I think yeah. in the long run, I, I, I like being that sort of indescribable, non-geographical sort of person. But I also felt like um, in music, especially I trained in Hindustani Sangeet, which yeah. came with like a discipline and a sort of, you know, tear up that you need to have as a musician. And then came like my influences studying in LA, being really a part of that culture of different is good. You right. know, uh, flaws are wonderful. Yeah. And that's what makes the music. And I, I, I think I found myself in a, in a place which even though, like very few, even now I feel very few things are not motivated by the visual spectacle of it. Hmm. And I found it very difficult to find my authenticity in a, in, in a field of work that I had never trained in as well. Right. I trained in music, I'd been yeah. on stage. Yeah. I'd done my Sunday practices with students, with, right. you know, so... It felt very natural. I've been on stage since I was six, but exactly. I've never acted, never yeah. acted. Right. And uh, I didn't train in it. So I didn't have the jargon or the tools to right. help me come to a decision quicker. So I think that's what it was really. And I think that um, I love acting because I feel like I learned in front of a million people and I improved in front of a million people. Right. And now the I feel that what I can feel with my fans, which I love online, especially, is yeah. this journey is theirs as well. Yes. yes, I didn't come up as some perfect promising product. Yeah. I was so flawed, and they saw that, and they saw it being yeah. fixed and glued together, and that is the the bond that I share with the people who like. But um, let's talk a little about your movies. And um, uh, it's been interesting to note uh, uh, how you've been part of so many successful Telugu films, Tamil films. Um, what is the kind of adulation that you get? Uh, you've been used to a certain level of adulation seeing your dad, of course, and your mom. Yeah. Uh, how, how is it different when you're at the receiving end of it? I was just telling somebody today that when I get a lot of love, like especially when I meet some of my fans one on one, right. and I know most of them from the online community. Yeah, there's a part of me that really just wants to cry, Kaveri because yeah. I I just don't know what to do with this much love. Like, right. it's overwhelming in a very beautiful way. You yeah, know? and um, I feel like you know that we do work for that applause. I think the reason I became a singer is. One is this cartoon I used to watch as a kid and I was like, I like her job, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and the second is, I remember I was singing for my father's show in Singapore uh -huh. and I was all of six years old. And it was the feeling I had when I finished singing well, performing, and that sound of the cheer which was for me, it, it was just something that I, I loved it. And it wasn't the vanity of it, it was, it was the ability to instantly within six minutes connect with people on that yeah. level wow. yeah so uh that must it's it's like an addiction in a it's, good way it's not it's not like an addiction because it doesn't come frequently right you, you know you have to really earn it there's no way you can just go you know you can go like you know buy chocolate cakes and eat it if you're a food <laughs> holder. there's no way to buy this applause which yeah feels genuine that genuine praise is actually the adulation will be there the fame will be there but that genuine phrase or that kind of feeling of artistic connect is very rare so therefore it's not like a drug it's more right. like you know something right. organic yeah what was it? i think it's going to happen for you in streaming you know i have a hunch that uh, you're going to be an even bigger star on streaming i don't know why but i hope i'm right but uh, do you see... <laughs> Very well put. 
<laughs> but um, do you do you get a lot of offers to do streaming se- series? Are you considering? I have, them? but I haven't been like super sold. The thing is also, I think the standard of what a woman's character can be yeah. is so high in my head now. Exactly. I mean, I saw Gillian Anderson in the fall, and I was like, I can't wait to be in my forties. Yeah. <laughs> I you mean, know? they seem to be getting all the great parts. Look at Big Little Lies. Look at, uh, you know, Little Fires Everywhere. Yeah. That kind of uh, work. Levi, is, again. Yeah, like, amazing. I think she's, yeah. she's, of course, a genius. But, uh, you know, that kind of comedy where so much is left unsaid. And, yeah. yet, and yet it's uh, comedy as well as so profound. Um, yeah. And it's funny, just like, uh, uh, I mean, I, that's what it is. I'm just like, I'm not very picky, contrary to belief. It's just that it has to snap in place for me, you know? Right. And uh, I'm very excited because I'm a major propagator of like, let's all sit at home and binge watch stuff, <laughs> you know? So I'd love to. I mean, I for think, me, my yeah. experience on that has only been through Treadstone, but I'm a guest role in it. Yeah. So, but it's a recurring role. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what was that like? Because it, again, it's one of those global uh, series, you know, you have new uh, countries almost every uh, uh, three There's episodes. a lot of plot lines. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you have a huge star in Jeremy Irvine. I think he's, uh, and he's very interesting. He's, he's an interesting star. So what is it like? Uh, uh, what is it like auditioning in the West? And what is it like finally landing a big role? I, when I was first, uh, the, the thing that still like really gets me nervous is auditions. I just can't for the life of me understand them. I had a problem with them even when I was singing because I'd be like, Aapko kaise pata hai ki main act, you know, what is this parameters? I don't know how you want me to sing this song. I can't, you know, it was the same thing with music and even with acting, I found auditions really hard because I never auditioned, right. <laughs> first of all. And I'm one of those people who loves being on the energy of a set or the energy of a rehearsal or the energy, you know what I mean? Where, yeah. And this me like sitting here and like doing it was always difficult. So by the time I got to the Treadstone audition, I had done about 10, 15 auditions and like mm-hmm. really found a little bit of my way. And I still am, I'm still like very, I just wish I could call the director, but then they don't even know who will direct which episode. Like it's just exactly. so, it's yeah. such a weird world. It's different. Yeah. But I very much love it. Uh, Treadstone was an audition I did, like, I ran and I did, like, before a music rehearsal. And I kind of understood the vibe. And, you know, look at the irony, expressionless assassin who you yeah. can't read. <laughs> like, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfect. <laughs> perfect to you. Right. Um, uh, may I ask you to sing a little of Bare Naked because I really like that song. I think there's something very haunting about it. Just a little. I know sure. it's quite difficult to sing without an accompaniment and all that. Uh, and uh, you have a great piano player in uh, in that that I've seen. Is it Thank possible you. for you to sing a little of it? Sure. Yeah. Won't you say it, say it, please, say it one time just for me, Bama. There you go. Lovely. I think even people who don't understand the language will just relate. But that's the idea of the song, actually. It is, isn't it? And uh, Shruti, can we let you go after, but after you sing one one more song, please. Just a little bit. Some. Um, what about Skin? Okay, sure. Yeah, I like that too. Or if you that want to sing a Tamil song, I think maybe our uh, audience would like that. I'm not sure which one. Uh, you would know better. Uh, okay, I'll sing one of mine from a, uh, a movie I did music for. Sure. Please, please do. Okay. Which one? Which one is it? It's called Vana Mellay uh-huh. from a film called Unai Kolodvan. Excellent. Please go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Vana Mellay Yenbadi Injilay Nala Yenj Tani Pur Nilay Lay Yendrum. Wonderful. Wonderful. Shruti, it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Please remain your authentic self. Thank you so much for being with us. All the very best. I uh, Thank you for having me. Many more movies, many more, much more music. And um, 
I think you're going to do even better than you have done so far. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you so much.